So you have just sold your bike, received the bicycle shipping material, and now it is time to send it off. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the bicycle box, all the inlays, and how to pack your bike inside it. Let's get straight to it. The shipping material gets sent to you completely flat and folded together in a medium-sized box. Inside it, you'll find a smaller box for your pedals or other accessories, two squares to protect your front wheel, a longer piece to support the rear wheel, a rectangular piece with a slit in the middle, a large piece with many holes, and finally, the large bicycle box. First start with the big bicycle box. Pop the box open and set it up with the bicycle logo upside down. Then fold the flaps inwards, starting with the shorter ones and secure it with tape. Now take the piece with holes and open both sides. Then starting from where both sides are connected, fold the first flap towards you and then again in the other direction. While paying attention to the pre-cut lines, repeat this until you get down to the bottom. Then fold both sides together and the two small flaps upwards, forming an upside down T. Next take the longest piece and starting on the plain looking end, fold the two wings inwards and flip the whole side over until the hinges meet the sockets. Then flip the side flap upwards and secure in the open slot. Repeat this on the other side. Flip the now triangle over, tuck the small flap into the opening and then push down on the center flaps. Next up is the rectangular piece which will support the top of the bike. On the one side, fold the smaller side flaps inwards and then the longer side up and over the two flaps. Securely tuck the longer flap by pressing the hinges into the sockets. Repeat this process on the other side and then flip the whole thing over and press down on the center flaps. Lastly, take the small accessory box, pop it open, fold down the flaps on one side and secure it with tape. Now it is time to prepare the bike. Remove your front wheel and set it aside. If you have disc brakes, secure it with a plastic plug or piece of cardboard. Now take the inlay with holes inside, slide it between the fork and reinsert your axle. Then get your front wheel and the two squares, secure the wheel between your legs and place one square on each side. Get out your tape and secure all four sides. Then remove the seat post and wrap it in bubble wrap or newspaper and secure it with tape. Lastly, loosen the screws on your stem and then while holding the fork, rotate the handlebar and stem to one side and hook the handlebar under the top tube. Now we can pack everything into the box. Get out the triangle inlay and insert it in the rear side of the box. Now place your bike inside the box, making sure that your rear wheel wedges into the inlay and that the fork inlay is sitting flush on the bottom. If the fork inlay is too far in front, then simply readjust accordingly. Get out your front wheel and place it on the drive side of your bike. Next, take your saddle and store it in front of the fork. After you've packed all accessories, place the box on the rear drive side. Now get out the last support inlay and place it on top of the bike and wheel. Now fold the box closed, tape it up, say your goodbyes and off it goes.